Donia Trouse followed by Tim Frank. Hi, my name is Sonia Trouse. I live in Somo right now. Um, I've been organizing for housing since 2014 when I lived in West Oakland. Uh, I think that we are in a housing shortage, and I think the shortage affects renters the most. If you're a homeowner, shortage is not really a problem for you. But if you're a renter, you're not housing secure, then shortage is a huge problem. And so that's why when we talk about the three Ps, production is a kind of protection. Production does protect people against being displaced. I mean, being displaced is the difference between the amount of housing we have and the amount of housing we need. Um, so when I started organizing, I was living in West Oakland, and I started organizing because people were being displaced from San Francisco. They were moving to West Oakland. They were driving rents up there. And I realized that displacement isn't something that happens once, that the displaced from one neighborhood become gentrifiers in the next neighborhood, and then people displaced from, you know, from West Oakland were going to East Oakland, East Oakland to Concord, and so on. So, it's, so the decisions made in any part of the Bay affect every other part of the Bay. And so that's why, actually, I think, yeah, you should go ahead with this all together, because what's the point of having all of these meetings and having a big compromise if now you break it up? There's, that would be a step backwards. Um, but also, I really want to uh, speak in favor of doing it this way, taking out the so-called direct uh, democracy representation. Because honestly, the way that we've been doing it for the last 30 years is not democratic, and it has not resulted in what we need, which is an adequate, um, uh, adequate supply of housing. Uh, we've tried it the old way, and the old way is every little town making their own decisions and weighing in. We've done that, and what is the result? The result is a crippling housing shortage. So I don't think people can, with a straight face, really argue that that's a good method. It's a terrible method. The other reason that it's a bad method, oh, is that it's hard, to, it's hard for the whole region to weigh in when you're making decisions bit by bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bruce Bowen from... I'm Bruce Bowen from the Dolores Heights Improvement Club and the San Francisco Land Use Coalition. I'm here to briefly defend the idea of democratic input, in particular, and even a direct democratic input. I think that more democratic input needs to be provided in this project in order to ensure that outreach and communication is adequate and engagement with all communities who are going to be affected or even affected positively, neg negatively, or devastated by this, by this effort. I know a lot of, uh, of good input has been provided. Whether or not it's communi uh, community-based and democratic, I guess I would just have to say we just don't believe. We don't necessarily believe that the, it's adequately democratic, has, ha has had adequate analysis, and will the impact among all of our communities has been adequately uh, understood. We just don't believe it yet. I hope at some point we can, but we don't believe it now. Thank you very much.